morning. Hello, good morning, girls. Hi, Berito, Elena, Araceli, good morning. Morning. Morning, morning. How are you, girls? So fine. Good morning, teacher. Okay, good morning. morning, morning. How was your night? Was it good? Did you rest? Okay, very nice. Yes. Yeah, beautiful night. Ready, Araceli, with your breakfast? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. After the Maybe. class, right? Yes. Okay, very nice. Now, a coffee with... Ah, oh, that's good. Bread. With bread. Mm, okay, good. What kind of bread is your favorite? Um... I like I like a lot ochos. <laughs> Do you know? No. Yeah, yes, I like. Sometimes it's very very sweet. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. But, uh huh. Yes, I like ochos a lot, and I <laughs> I dig it, dip it in my in my coffee. Okay. <laughs> oh well, no 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 coffee too much, but uh, milk. <laughs> Okay. I, I dig it. Okay, nice, Araceli. Very nice. This is a delicious for for waking up in the morning, right? Senia is here too. Good morning, and uh, Ili. Hello. Good morning, Ili. Good morning. How was your night, Ili? Good morning. Very well. Was it good? Yeah. Yes. Did you rest? Yes. Excellent. Hey, what about your pets? I haven't seen yeah. the pets for some days yes but uh they they are here <laughs> oh okay they are with you in the yes. class <laughs> yes okay hey but they they love you huh maybe <laughs> i suppose <laughs> the, the, the animals the, well the cats are very you know a little bit like um but they they love you when you give them food. Food. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, but when you want to call them like hey, come here, man, they don't pay attention, right? Yeah. That's what yeah. I like. They are so I don't know. In the in the independent. Independent. Uh -huh. Independent. <laughs> yes. yes. And the dogs are very different. Yes, very yes. different. They are very lovely and they, they, they like to be close to the human. Yes, <laughs> okay. it's true. <laughs> yes. Okay, guys, we're only girls today. Very good. We have girls day. Okay, great, great, great. My friends, uh, today we are going to change a little bit the topic from what we did uh, last, uh, uh, last class, okay? But we're going to have a little review, okay? We're going to have a little review just to have, okay, in mind, Okay, what we did yesterday, right? Here, um, you have two columns and you have to match, okay? The letters, okay? The, the letter B corresponding to each number, okay? Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna ask Ili to read the, the, the instructions, please. Okay, complete the sentence with in column A mm -hmm. with the appropriate information from column B. Very good. Then compare with a partner. Okay, well, that, that compared with a partner, we're not gonna do it because we're gonna do it here, okay, together. So number one, read the example, please, Ili. Number one, about 60 years ago. Mm -hmm. And the corresponding sentence is letter H. H, many TV shows were in black and white. Okay, very good. Many TV shows were in black and well, I remember my first television <laughs> was in white and black. Yes, I remember, but I didn't know the colors because there were no uh, color TVs, right? Good. This is the number one. The number two is before the automobile, before the automobile Okay, then we have different options. Okay, let me let me ask Araceli if you can read one sentence, please, Araceli. Before the automobile. Okay, number two, before the automobile. Mm -hmm. um, is 
got it on letter D. Letter D. Mm -hmm. Read it, please. People didn't travel as much from city to city. Okay, great. Uh -huh. It has sense. Very good. Number three. Hi, Exa. Good morning. Exa, Exa. Good morning. How are you, Exa? Nice? Nice. Oh, yes. perfect. Very good. My friend, read the number three, okay? And choose the corresponding uh, second part. Before the world supermarket, people used to shop at the small grocery stores. Oh, letter? A. A. Very, very good. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Very nice. It's true. I remember when I was a kid, my mother bought in a very small grocery store. Now everybody goes to big shopping centers and then the supermarkets and that's it. Yeah, it's true. That's that's very, very true. Number four. Okay, we have the number four. Let me ask my friend Sinia if Sinia is there. Morning, Sinia. Morning, morning. Are you there? So look at the number one, two, and three. They are in the past because they have expressions from the past. The number four. Ah, these days, nowadays, today. So you have to find the corresponding uh, second part in present, okay? Present. Okay, Elena, well, Elena, because Sinia is not there. Hi, Elena. Good morning, teacher. Elenita, good morning. Can you read number four, please? In most office days, uh -huh. these, uh -huh. these days. Very good. Uh, if okay. people were more than uh, 40 hours a week. Wow, okay. Very, very good, okay. In most offices these days. Excellent, very good. It has sense, uh-huh. It has sense, very good. Uh, number five, let's read the number five. This is for my friend here. Okay, Franklin, good morning, Franklin. Franklin, one. Hola, hi. Ah, hi, Franklin. <laughs> hi, you were, you were preparing a sandwich and oh, my name, my name. <laughs> okay, Franklin, read the number five, please. And give me the second part of the sentence. Okay. Um, in many city, cities in nowadays. Mm -hmm. Very good. Oh, is people uh, work more than. 40 hours a 40 week. hours? Uh, no, because that is for the number four, frankly. Uh, sorry. Uh -huh. You have to choose other letter. But remember that the sentence is in present, so you have to find the present match. Mm -hmm. Okay. If, 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 let me, let me help you. Well, you have to find the sentence in present, the second part. In many, in many cities nowadays, check the in first three. Nowadays. Check the first three sentences, please. And there is the, the answer. Check the ABC sentences and you will find the answer there. Somebody help me. Somebody can help me, uh-huh, okay. 50-50. <laughs> Uh -huh. 50, 50, right? okay. okay, somebody can help Frank in many cities nowadays. Maybe C, M, C, C. Ah, letter C, read it, please. Read it. Students are learning with interactive white, whiteboard. Ah, whiteboard, okay. Ah, but look in the number six, we have in many classrooms mm, today. No. So, no, uh -huh. choose another one. Letter B. Letter B. Read it, Exa. Pollution is becoming a serious problem. Excellent. Aha. Uh -huh. Letter B is aha uh -huh, more with this one. And then letter C, Elenita. The number six. Thank you. 
Uh, see. Sí. See, sí, can you read, in, please, the sentence, complete sentence, read it. In many, in many, in many classrooms today, uh, studying are uh, learning with interactive with a board. Uh -huh. Whiteboards. 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 Excellent. Okay. Very good. Uh -huh. It matches more. Look, number seven and number eight is future. Future. Carlita Beatriz. Good morning. Morning, teacher. Morning. In the number seven, please. This is for you. In the next uh, 100 years. Mm -hmm. um, Doctor, uh -huh. doctor may find a cure for the common cold. Ah, okay, for the common cold. That's it. Well, this is a this is a possibility because look, the number seven and the number eight. What is the difference between the seven and the eight? The time. 100 time, years, yes. and this is some time in the near future. Um, letter E. Letter E. There, there number, will probably uh -huh. be cities in space. In the number seven. Yes, in the number uh -huh. seven. Ah, okay. And the number eight, sometime in the near future. Letter G. Energy. Excellent. Uh -huh. Very good. Okay, that's it. Yeah, because it's more time for living in the space. <laughs> okay, and for the near future, mm, the cure for the common call. But well, I think we have it already, right? We already have this in the in the near future. So that means now. Okay, so my friends, this is a, a little practice. Okay, from what we studied yesterday, related to um a past, present, and future, okay? Past, present, and future, that's it. So now we are gonna move a little bit, okay? The, ch the topic will change a little bit, and this is about perspectives, okay? Um, I have here uh, one topic, and I want you to read the corresponding perspectives, Okay, for example, when you say, oh, I want to have a beautiful house or a beautiful car. Uh-huh, but having a beautiful car means that you have to spend more money on gasoline. And you, you, when you buy a car, you say, I want to travel around with my friends and go to restaurants and, uh-huh, but if you do that, you will spend more money. And if you spend more money, you need to work more time, okay, so... This is if you get a high paying job. This is a dream that everybody has to have a job, to get a, a, a job and have a very delicious salary, okay? And then you say, oh God, when I get that, okay? Sometimes we say when I finish my career, okay? As soon as I finish my career at the university, I will get a, a, a very high paying job, okay? But depends, listen to the perspectives here, okay? If you get a high paying job, then we have number one, Giovanni, good morning. Hello, hello, Giovanni one, Giovanni two. Well, he's preparing a sandwich too, okay? Ivan, hello, good morning. Ivan, morning, good morning, 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 Ivan. Can you morning. please read the sentence? If you yes. get a high paying job, read three sentences, please. Okay. You'll have more cash to spend. Mm -hmm. Second one. You'd be able to buy anything you went. Okay, very good. You'll be, mm -hmm. you be able to travel first class. First class, aha, uh -huh. very good, Ivan. Those are some consequences if you get high paying jobs. Okay, continue then, Ili. Other three sentences, please. If you get a high paying job, 
you might have to pay higher taxes. Mm -hmm. uh, if you get a high and high paying job, you'll be able to donate more uh, charities. Charities. Uh, charities. Uh -huh. Charities, this is like a organization that need money and ask for money because they are supporting children, animals, etc. Mm -hmm. okay. Charities. Uh, continue, please. And then if you get a high paying job, more people may want to be your friend. <laughs> ah, <laughs> this is a possibility. <laughs> uh -huh. More people may want to be your friend. Okay, very good. Blanquita, continue reading, please. You won't have as much stress in your life. Ah, uh, stress, stress. Stress. You won't have as much stress in your life. Mm -hmm. Continue. People will ask you for a loan. A loan, okay, very good. Okay, that's it. Loan, you know what loan is? Prestamo. Any idea? Aha, uh -huh. it's the money, right? Can you lend me? A... <laughs> okay. <laughs> First is when you are poor, one dollar, five dollars. When you are rich, can you lend me 1,000, 3,000? Ah, okay, it's more money. And the last one, Blanquita. You have a lot more free time. Okay, great. Thank you, Blanquita, okay? Now, my friends, take a screenshot, okay? Please, quickly, take a screenshot or a picture because you're gonna work on this. Remember, those are perspectives. It depends on your uh, vision, your opinion, okay? That's it. This is what you're gonna do. You are going to tell me here in the space, you are going to write if it is an advantage or disadvantage of getting a high paying job, okay? Advantage or a disadvantage. For advantage, if you want to, you can you can write okay here, okay advantage advantage like this, okay. This is an advantage, and disadvantage, which is um you you are only this okay? disadvantage, okay. If you want to, because it's so long, you can say ad. Okay, for advantage and this for disadvantage. Okay, you can use this abbreviation. That's it. This is perspective. Let's talk with your partners. If you have a high paying job, you will have more less stress or you won't have a stress. Well, it depends because when you have more money, you have more things and you are paying attention if the, the thieves are coming to you and steal some things. Well, I don't know. So decide, please, with your partners. I'm going to give you just six minutes maximum, okay? And then we will come back to do this, this part. Okay, let's accept the invitation, please. Hi, good morning. Good morning. morning. Hello, hello. Tell me. I'm, I'm sorry. I in right now. I, I. Do you need a I, picture? I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the picture. Hacer, mm -hmm. Ah, you just Me joined the class? Sí. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm going to tell you. They are perspectives, right? Okay. Here you have this picture and you say, if you get a high paying job, that means a very nice salary, mm -hmm. there are different options. You will have more cash to spend. You will be able to buy anything you want. You will be able to travel first class. You might have to pay higher taxes. So you have to read them all with Blanquita. 
And you have to decide here in this space if mm -hmm. the sentence is an advantage or disadvantage to uh, okay. 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 Take okay. a screenshot, please. Take a picture or a screenshot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. There we go. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Oh, you're welcome. Okay. Continue working, please. Okay. Okay. Do name more to carry this. It's advantage for me. Advantage. Um, okay, charities. Sorry. Eh, caridad. Ah, yes. Okay. Charities. Um, more people. It's advantage. Yes. yes. And you, Veronica? Um, a banter. For me, it's a banter. Ah, okay. Well, right. is traveling to to her office. <laughs> Perito, are you by bus or in a car? In, in a car. Ah, okay. Yeah, because if you are by bus, don't do this, okay? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, they can steal your yeah, cell phone or do something to you. Okay. Okay. Okay, finish, guys. Yes. Seven. No. No. Ah, okay. Seven. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. yeah, you may get my screen. Okay. Okay. Perspectives. And number one, you will have more cash to spend. For you, is an advantage or disadvantage? More, more cash means more money in your hand. <laughs> Teacher. Hello, good morning. You always surprise me. <laughs> oh my God, an angel is talking. <laughs> <laughs> So we we that we did the 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 first the three. first three uh -huh. yes Let but uh, the first class uh, is an advantage <laughs> the first class right obviously <laughs> but the number four look you might have to pay higher taxes more 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 uh, renta <laughs> no not to the not to the gangster mm. no to the, to the to the ministry right. Mm. Uh, it's disadvantage. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, it's a disadvantage. Mm. The more, the more you you get money, right? Your, in your salary, the more uh, they discount a lot. It's an okay. Yes, advantage. I don't know. Um, you can check, Elena and, and you. You can check the the advantage or disadvantage that I that I'm writing. And if you think another thing, uh, you tell me, and I can change. No, for me it's mm -hmm. correct. It's okay, yes. Elena. The six. The number six. Um, more people may want to be your friend. <laughs> this is in this banter. This is a disadvantage. Disadvantage. Yeah, because your friends are gonna be fake, not real friends. You oh. may get your own office. Mm. Uh, 
¿Por qué? Dice que la gente te pedirá prestado. Lo han prestado, no es... Préstamo. Es préstamo. Préstamo, ah. Ah, pues, disadvantage, vea. Yeah. Disadvantage. I don't want to give them money. And number 10. Advantage. You have a lot more free time. Mm -hmm. Okay, very nice. Finish, right? Yes. Finish. Okay, now we're going to check it with everybody and let's let's say if, if, if everybody teacher, has almost the same. Yes, teacher, is... but the number five, mm -hmm. um, one, one, two, three, four, five, you will be you will be able to, to donate, donate more, more to charity. charity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> number five for have you. <laughs> Well, it depends, Gabby. It depends. Remember, the topic that we have today is perspectives. Mm, okay. okay. This is depends okay. because if you love giving others what you have, it's going to be an advantage. But if uh -huh. you are stingy... <laughs> Okay, let's check what other things. Okay. okay, okay. Great, great job. Okay, we are back and now it's time to listen to your opinions about uh, the different perspectives. Okay, well, the perspective number one, okay, I said, if you get a high paying job, you will have more cash to spend. What do you think? Open your... Or turn on your microphones, please, and give me your opinion. Advantage. 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 Oh, yeah, everybody. Advantage. Advantage. Very good. It's an advantage, okay? So you can have your money here in your hands, right? Second one. Read it, uh, my friend Gabby. Okay. You will be able to buy anything you want. What do you think, Gabby? It's advantage. An advantage, everybody agrees? Yes. 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 I am like, oh <laughs> my God, the car of your dreams, clothes, shoes, makeup. Ooh, very nice. Number three. <laughs> okay, Carlita Beatriz. Read the other one. Okay. You will be able to travel first class. Obviously, advantage. <laughs> ah. Okay, okay. I don't get angry, huh? I don't get angry if, if they give me the first class. Uh -huh. uh, uh, people say that in the in the in the common class, uh, it smells a lot to pollo campero. <laughs> <laughs> the smell is pollo campero, right? Okay. Next, what about the other one? Okay, tell me, please, Ivan. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Mm -hmm. You might. You might have to pay hey taxes. Higher, 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 mm -hmm. higher. Disadvantage. Ah, this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> disadvantage. What do you think? <laughs> yes. Yes, right. Okay. Ah, yeah. The more in the ticket that you receive from your salary, you will get like discounts. More discounts. The more you get. Okay. Next, please. This is Ili. Hi. You'll be able to uh, donate more to charities. Charities, charities. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, it's a fetish. <laughs> I don't listen to you very convinced. <laughs> yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Would you would you donate extra? What do you think? Advantage or disadvantage? Disadvantage. I'm sorry, disadvantage or is advantage? Is advantage. Ah, ah is an advantage. Uh -huh. Giovanni, what do you think? Juan Carlos, what do you think? Advantage. Or advantage. advantage. Ah, okay. So, Gabby, only you say that is a disadvantage. <laughs> oh, I don't say disadvantage. I, I depends. It right. depends, yes. I was telling Gabby that it depends on the perspective that you have, okay? If you are a good-hearted human being, obviously it's going to be an advantage. But if you are stingy, <laughs> okay, it's going to be a disadvantage. So, but because we are angels, it's an advantage, okay? That's it. Let's continue. Uh, Blanquita with the next. 
more people may want to be your friend. Um, ah, what do you think? <laughs> Perspectives. Uh -huh. Advantage. An advantage, okay. What do you think, Carlita? Um, advantage or disadvantage? A disadvantage for me. A disadvantage me. for you, exactly? Yes, because... <laughs> why, why? Uh -huh. Tell me. Um, I think that the, the real friend for me is when you are very poor. Uh, when no you, way not you are rich or you exactly. have more money. Exactly, very good. So, but it depends, Blanquita. If you say that is an advantage, good for you. If it is a disadvantage here, talking about, you know, like reality that we say, oh, real friends are better than fake friends or something, we can say that is an a, a disadvantage, okay? That's it. But remember, this is perspectives, right? Okay. And uh, also, we say that it could be an advantage. Okay. It, it depends. As it, this is similar to the to the uh, charities. Okay. Franklin. You many get your own office. Ah, oh, your own office. Uh huh. Advantage. 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 Advantage, of course. And you will have video games inside and many things in a refrigerator. <laughs> okay. Juan Carlos, next. Uh, you won't have a much stress in your life. Uh -huh. uh, disadvantage. Ah, the, ah, so you like, uh, at, uh, you like the stress? No, advantage. Ah, advantage. Okay, great. Very good. Yeah, because this advantage is to have more stress. So I prefer to have no stress. Uh -huh. Okay, great. Very good. Very good. Elena, read the next one, please. People, people will ask you for a loan. A loan, group. Advantage or disadvantage? Disadvantage. <laughs> disadvantage. Uh -huh. Very good. This is like in the school, right? <clears throat> when you go to school. Y when you're wearing the chalets. Hey, Alexander Pisto, prestale. <laughs> okay. Oh, and you don't want to give your money. Okay. Because this is a disadvantage when people ask you for a loan. You don't know if they're going to pay back. Okay. And the last one. Okay. Ili. Uh, you have a lot more free time. Okay. Ad advantage. Advantage. Great. So you can have your English class with no problem. <laughs> okay. Very good. If you see, guys, they are perspectives. Okay. What is a perspective? Well, it depends on your opinion. Something that depends on your opinions, right? And for this, we are going to study okay the following structure right if okay for example we're going to start this if you have okay bad temper okay i'm sorry okay if you have bad temper tum, okay you will get sick okay this is expression Okay, that people sometimes used, okay? So, what is this, guys? This is what we call in English the conditional number one, okay? Conditional uno, they call it. First conditional, other name, right? This conditional is for cause and effect. Cause and effect. So, the structure for this is very simple. I want you to tell me the structure now, guys, that you already have the, the sentence here. Okay, what is the first thing you have to, to write when you want to use the first conditional? First, the first, I'm gonna help you with the first, the first, first, first thing is to use if, okay? This is the first one, okay, if. And then what do you need? Look. You have bad temper. Subject. The subject, very good. Okay, the subject. And then? Very impressive. Ah, but be careful. This is not past. 
This is not future. This is not ing. This is in present. Okay. In the base form. In the base form. Okay. And then, my friends, we have the complement. 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 Excellent. Okay. The, I'm going to write like this. Okay. The complement. After that, the structure doesn't finish there. It's separated by a comma. 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 And then what do you need? Subject. 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 Uh -huh. Plus. Will. Will. Ah, okay. You use will, but not only will. I'm going to give you more. Will. Might. Mm -hmm. Okay. You use also Boy. may. Okay. Um. That's it. Or sometimes. You use be going to, okay? Am, um, is, are, going to, right? Those are the, the four ways you can use to express the first conditional, okay? You use am, um, is, are, going to, will, might, or may, okay? But remember, these auxiliars are in the second sentence or when you start with no if. Pay attention. Don't say if you will go to the, no. If, the if clause is always in the present. But the second clause could be with different auxiliars, okay? Models, will, might, may, or be going to. And after this, obviously, after the three of them or four of them, you need the verb in the base form, okay? No future, no past, no uh, present continuous, no. is in the base form. And there you have the structure for the first conditional, okay? So if you have bad temper, you will get sick. Okay, this is the cause. Este se le llama la causa, the cause, okay? The cause, and this is the effect. O sea, ¿qué es lo que va a pasar con esto? What is the result for the number one? If you have bad temper, hmm, you will get sick. Okay, this is what we usually do, right, Elena, with kids. Si tocas eso, te vas a quemar. Ay, we are like, eh? how would you say there, si tocas eso te vas a quemar? Tell me, this is the first conditional, cause and effect. Elena has children, right? So Elena knows, <laughs> okay? I have a daughter too and huh, they are touching everything. Si tocas la plancha te vas a quemar, okay? That's it. How would you say this in English? Um. If if you touch, if you touch, uh huh, a plancha. How do you say plancha, guys? How do you say iron? Iron. Iron. Very good. If you touch the iron, if you touch that iron, you will burn. You will uh huh burn. What? Your hand. Your hand. Excellent. Very good. Look. And there, my friends, we have, okay, a sentence using the, um, using the, the, the first condition. And look, present, comma, future. Okay. Let's have another one. Let's have another one. Okay. Uh, I want you to complete this with different ideas, okay? Not only one, different ideas. If you don't learn English, okay, in this time, when I say in this time, guys, it's not at 6.30, no. Uh, <laughs> uh, it, it means uh, in this uh, time of the life, Okay, in the 2020, in this time, uh huh. Can you please tell me what is the consequence if you don't learn English in this time? Uh -huh. Volunteers, 
Remember, there are a lot of opinions, but the second sentence, you have to use it with will, might, may, be going to. This is, okay, whatever a structure you can use. Yes. You won't change your life? You won't, aha, uh -huh, change, okay, your life, very good, okay, style life, okay, the, your life, okay, I'm going to put it right, uh -huh. that's it, the style of life, very good, another one, this is a, the perspective of exile. That's why the topic is perspectives, because there are different opinions. It's not only one. You will regret. You will, aha, uh -huh, very good. Regret, aha, uh -huh, regret. You will regret. Te vas a arrepentir, aha. Regret. Very nice. Another one, please. Mm -hmm. If you, you want to learn English, you want. You won't speak other person. You won't be, so, uh huh. You won't be uh, more professional. Ah, you won't. Okay. After will, you need the verb. No le okay. pongas be. Acuérdese que el be no va con ningún otro verbo. You won't. Okay. Uh huh. You won't communicate Excellent. other person. Communicate with. Uh, uh, let me change that. Uh, foreigners, pongámosle. Okay. okay. Foreigners is con, con extranjeros, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, very good. Very nice. You won't communicate with foreigners. Excellent. Okay. Very, very, very good. So you see, teacher, and only want and will, want and will. No, you can just might. Okay, for example, let's have another one. I'm going to give you one, but I'm going to give you one a uh, orally, okay? Orally. Let's start with the with the first one, right? Okay, this is and and, and you participate, okay? That's it. No matter if it is only one person, no, participate, give more opinions. Uh, if you okay, listen to these guys and you complete the sentence. If you uh, don't take a shower. This is, uh huh. Tell me, activate your microphones. If you don't take a shower, uh huh. If you don't take a shower, you might stink, 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 or <laughs> stink all day. <laughs> Very good. You might stink all day. Uh huh. Very good. Continue. <laughs> Tell me other. Excellent. Very good. Uh huh. Give me another one. I when we don't take a shower. Uh huh. Ah uh, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. You may uh, sleep. Maybe I see a minute. Maybe. Uh, okay. You may be sleepy. Sleep sleepy. Sleepy, uh huh. Very good. You may be sleepy, okay? You may, okay, you might stink <laughs> or you may be sl uh, sleepy, okay? Very good. That's it. Next, if you smoke a lot, what is the consequence? If you smoke a lot, mm -hmm. we'll get the will get uh -huh. Yes, uh huh. Tell me. Don't worry, Franklin. If you smoke a lot, you will get deal. Ah, you will get that. Okay, okay, okay. Remember their perspectives, right? Uh huh. Si fuma mucho te va a morir. Okay, let's check another one, Araceli. Very good. Thank you, Frank. If you smoke you will, a lot, you might sick. Might get. You might get sick. Okay, very good. You might get sick. Okay, good. That's it. Not only um maybe not only for for a cancer or something, but sometimes. <laughs> 
respiratory illnesses, okay? That's it. Next, if you don't do exercise, if you don't do exercise, uh -huh, tell me the consequences, please. If you don't do exercise, uh-huh you will be fat you will be fat okay very good that's it sedentarism right mm -hmm. if you don't do exercise another one please you will leave the model ah okay <laughs> Okay, if you don't do the ah, Elena, but the exercise, no English, exercise in a gym uh, or physical actions. Uh huh. Ah, ya me dolió, ya me siento um, tired. <laughs> uh huh. You, you will fin, finish uh, tired. Okay, very good. You will finish your day tired. Very good. Okay, mm -hmm. that's it. What about, what about, okay, teacher, only if you, if you, no, guys, it is not just if you, you can say she, he, they, etc. Okay, it's, it's not just uh, you, okay, this one. Okay, here I have, okay, this part that is the present, as I said, and this is the consequence in future. You can use will, may, or might. In the platform, we have only this, but also you can use be going to, okay? A, for third person, I teach and meet it. See, example, right? This is an example. Si Itzel no termina la plataforma, no vamos a empezar el curso ya. Rápido. Ah, so, if Itzel doesn't, okay? So, in this case, guys, when you say present, remember that the present has a for third person too. And for third person, you say doesn't, okay? Doesn't finish okay the grammar or, or the the platform exercises okay that's it we won't start next module look teacher so this is for third person yes but the second is the same only the first with You still mute. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Se me fue el inter, pero here I am. Okay. That's it. Okay. I was I was off for a second. Okay. What I was saying, right? It was this one uh, that is for third person. Okay. When you say a uh, third person. Okay. When you say when you say doesn't okay for the third person here we're gonna we're gonna do the last part okay together with a and b and i will ask for some of you to read the sentences a exa you will start with the number one giovanni number two gabriela number three itzel number four uh, let's see juan carlos number five Blanquita, number six. Let's start with the number one. Okay. If you eat less sugar, you might feel a lot healthier. Uh-huh. You might feel a lot healthier. Okay, very good. So that's B. Uh-huh. Number two. If you want to work every day, uh -huh. um, uh, maybe you will uh, you will be in in form in shape. No sé. In shape. In form. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Yes, shape. in shape. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
without joining a gym. Aha, that's letter C. Very good. Letter that's C. It. Excellent. Very good. Number three. Okay, number three. Next, please. If, <coughs> if you don't get enough sleep. Mm -hmm. Uh, you might feel a lot healthier. You might feel a lot healthier. Ah, this is the letter B, Gavita. Already take ah, it, number okay. one. Mm -hmm. <coughs> uh, you, you won't be able to stay awake in class. Okay, very good. Uh huh. That's it. Very good. Not, next, number four, please. If you change job mm -hmm. maybe letter d you'll have more money to spend on yourself mm -hmm. no no mm -hmm. okay no because there are more uh that maybe that's it <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> if you okay. change jobs um, if you change jobs um I don't know. Um, the the last one. Check the, maybe, the last one. Uh, Letter F. May, uh, uh -huh. You might not like a bird than your old one. One, uh -huh. Very good. That's it. No te va a gustar tanto como el antiguo. Maybe. Uh -huh. That is a perspective, right? Oh, you will love it. Another yes. one. Uh -huh. Very good. Number five. If you don't get married. If you don't get married, um, you have more money to spend on yourself. Ah, very good. So Juan Carlos, don't get married. <laughs> okay, that's it. Number six, the last one. Too late. Too late. Ah, no, don't tell me, Juan Carlos. <laughs> okay, great. Number six. I don't see teacher. Oh, my goodness. Can somebody see? Carlita Aguilar, can you see? Okay. Can you see? Uh -huh. If you travel abroad, mm -hmm. you'll be able to experience a new culture. Excellent. Okay. You will be able to experience a new culture. Great. Okay. That's it. This is, guys, what we call the first conditional. Okay. With the situation in the present and the consequences okay with what are the consequences the structure subject and then you have different models can you please tell me the models that you're gonna use tell me tell may. me may mm -hmm. tell um, me. will will uh -huh. might might and the other one, the last, the last one that I presented. Going to. Going to. Um, going to. Going to. Going to. Going to. Very These good. are going to. You see? These are. So, hey, si no vas a trabajar, te van a despedir. If you don't go to work, you will get fired. Hey, if you don't, for example, okay, this is. Okay, when you talk to somebody or third person, remember, tercera persona, agreguele la S, okay? For example, si Liana canta en la clase, todo lloraremos. <laughs> if Liana sings in the class, uh -huh, everybody will cry, okay? <laughs> because of the feeling, Ilya, uh -huh, because of the feeling. <laughs> Okay, so this is, guys, okay, uh, the topic about perspectives. We continue tomorrow talking about perspectives, okay? Before we finish, I have something else to tell you, something very important, mandatory, okay, in red letters. Don't forget your oral presentation, okay? Okay. Thursday, tomorrow we have classes, uh, normal classes, tomorrow is a Wednesday, and the day after tomorrow we have the presentations, right? Uh, we are going to have for Thursday, 
el jueves, Juan Carlos, eh, tenemos a Ileana, ok, Gabriela en Karen, ok, Karen Reyes. Eh, Giovanni, estaba viendo que a usted le toca el, el viernes y si puede, como pues Yesenia ya no se conectó, entonces puede tomar el, el espacio de Jessy, solo que a ella le toca jueves, ok. Remember, it's five minutes presentation. Ok, no es algo del otro mundo, es something easy. Ahí, display your presentation, right? Si no la puede poner, mándeme la mía antes, ok? Y yo con gusto le ayudo, right? Eh, y el viernes le toca a Carla Joana, ok? Carlita Joana is not here, pero ahí, ahí le vamos a contar. Giovanni, well, Francisco Cabrera is not here either. Iván en Franklin de Jesús, ok? For your oral presentation. También recordarles que ya pueden ir haciendo la section number four. Para el jueves ya tiene que estar hecha section number four, ¿ok? Ya que estos días vamos a estar teniendo eh, oral presentations. So remember, this is the time for you to practice, ¿ok? In the class. And that's it. If you have questions with the, with the presentation, send me a message, ¿ok? I will help you. Um, or maybe I can give you ideas on how to do it, okay? Uh, questions so far? No? Comments? Everything is fine? Okay, well, I'm going to go over the attendance, my friends, and you're ready to say present. Well, Yesenia Iveta Barca Vasquez, absent. Carla Beatriz Aguilar? Present. Great. Veronica Beatriz Celso? Uh, she is in the office, but okay, uh, is is there? Pero present, I present. Very good. Osmani et Saúl de León. Present. Present. Great. Uh, Blanca Estela Marroquín. Present. Vania Itzel Deras de Cañas. I'm here. Franklin de Jesús Martínez. Present. Carla Joana Martínez is absent. Okay. Eh, Giovanni Alberto Orantes. Present. Gabriela Beatriz Reyes. Present. Dalila Estela Silva. Absent. María Araceli González. Present. Sinia Elizabeth Mejía. Ok, is absent. Sonia Guadalupe Hernández. Eh, Sofía, sorry, <laughs> Sonia, Sofía Guadalupe Hernández, ok, absent, eh, next, Juan Carlos Molina, present, Claudia Eliana Casun, present, great, Herbert Iván Martínez, present, Brenda Lucía Rosales, present, teacher. Karen Lizeth Reyes, ok, Karen, Karen, is absent. Okay. So, Carmen Elena Cornejo. Present. Present. Okay. Very good. And uh, Francisco Isaac Cabrera <coughs> is uh, absent today. Okay. Well, my friends, that's it. If you have any questions, as always, remember, send me a text message. Okay, and also continue working on the platform. Have a beautiful morning. Enjoy your breakfast if you are about to eat and enjoy the rest of the day. Okay, mm -hmm. goodbye That's and see you tomorrow. Show. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye